JavaScript tutorial 9. We're looking at logical operators. We'll cover logical and, logical or, and logical not. Let's start off with some variables to use our logical operators on. Let's say let x equal 0 and let y equal 5. And we'll make an if statement if x equals 0 and then a double ampersand which is logical and double ampersand y equals 5 so the double ampersand the logical and just means if both of these things are true then have the whole condition evaluate to true so if either of these is false then the whole thing will evaluate to false both need to be true for the whole condition to evaluate to true Let's just say console.log x is 0 and y is 5. So if we run this right now, we'll get x is 0 and y is 5. So that's our logical and. Now let's look at logical or. Let's say else if x equals 0 or which is just two vertical lines that you'll find on your keyboard above the enter key, or y equals 5. So this time, if either of these evaluates to true, then the whole condition will evaluate to true. So if we change the value of y to 4, then we'll get console.log x is 0 or y is 5 x is 0 or y is 5, because only one of them is true. If both were true, then the logical and would execute. Logical not, I find this a little easier to explain using Boolean variables. So let's make let at home, and we'll have it equal true. And let in room equal true. So we have an imaginary person, and right now they are at home, and they are in their room. And let's say if at home and in room, then we'll just console.log person is at home and in their room. And in our else if statement, we're going to use the logical not. We'll say else if at home and not in room. Logical not is just an exclamation mark. The way we've used it right here, it essentially just means if in room equals false, if the person is not in their room. It's just a little bit quicker than typing at home and in room equals false. So if we put the logical not back in and we'll just write a console.log person is at home, but they are not in their room. So if we change in room to false, then now we'll get person is at home, but they are not in their room. There's one more operator I want to look at. It's not technically a logical operator, but it pretty much works the same way as the logical not. Technically, it's considered its own operator. It's called the not equals operator. Let's just say else if not at home and x does not equal 5. So this is the not equals operator. It functions the same as the logical not, the exclamation mark. When it's used with the equal sign, it's just called something else. It's called our not equals operator. Let's say console.log person is not at home and x is not 5. So if we change at home to false, then we'll get person is not at home and x is not 5. And something you've probably noticed is that there is kind of an order of operations happening here. It's called operator precedence. And that just means that the last thing to be evaluated in here is the logical and or the logical or. 
So first, any operations and evaluating of each individual statement will be done, and then the logical and or the logical or is considered. Just to write it out a little bit clearer, let's copy and paste this not at home and x does not equal 5. So what the browser would do is first it would calculate not at home and find the value of it, which right now would evaluate to true because at home is false. So the person is not at home, so that evaluates to true. And then the browser would figure out the value of x does not equal 5, which in this case would also evaluate to true because x is not equal to 5. And then the last thing that the browser would do is apply our logical and, which in this case would evaluate to true because both items in there are true. It's kind of intuitive. You'd probably figured out that that's the way it's working. But anyways, in JavaScript, the technical term for that is operator precedence.